This is one of thousands of informal settlements in South Africa. Imizamuyetu first sprung up near Cape Town more than 30 years ago, after some here were forcibly removed from a neighboring area. Since then, it's estimated that at least 40,000 people have built makeshift homes here, using corrugated iron, plastic sheets and, where possible, bricks. Confidence Tetis lived here for nearly 20 years. The path that leads to a home is also where the only toilets are. The smell of sewerage and waste can't be avoided. She blames the provincial government led by the Opposition Democratic Alliance, or DA. The water is dirty, the drains are blocked, and the toilets are blocked, and no one from the municipality comes. While the government is building homes for the poor, there's a backlog of at least 2.3 million homes, and that number grows each year. The need for housing, I can say it's bad, because if you look in Western Cap, it's 600,000 600, people that is on the waiting list. There's a lot of corruption that is happening in these projects, and also there's no accountability. Residents here explain this area was marked for development, but it's stalled and they don't know why. In Cape Town, the number of people without homes worsened during the COVID-19 pandemic as people lost income and the economy struggled. An estimated 14,000 people live on the streets of the greater Cape Town area. While the government does provide shelters, there aren't enough beds to accommodate everyone in need. And also, there are some who say they don't want to sleep in shelters. The Democratic Alliance says the influx of people from poorer provinces is one of the reasons for the high demand for housing. The national government, headed by the African National Congress, says the DA is not using the budget it's been allocated to build homes. Uh, housing budgets and infrastructure budgets are, need planning and long term. And when you dump, especially end of year finances, on a municipality to deliver housing, you then get given a month or two to deliver on that budget. It's not possible. But the ANC too has been criticized for not providing enough homes in the eight provinces it runs. As South Africa heads to an election, the lack of housing for the poor remains a major problem, often influenced by politics, corruption and a lack of money. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Cape Town. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.